So you're looking to buy a light fighter, perhaps to get into PvP or maybe to run VHRTs. The Arrow and Gladius are both excellent light fighters and more than capable. So which one is right for you? In this video, we're going to go over the strengths and weaknesses of each one in detail, taking into account damage output, durability, agility, price, and more. So first of all is the Anvil Arrow. It's an agile light fighter that's prized for its velocity and dexterity. The Arrow boasts advanced thruster technology, a generous weapons package, and an ultra aerodynamic frame to outmaneuver and outwit its opponents. It's relatively new in the Star Citizen universe, launched in 2958. In real terms, it was released at around the end of 2018. It has a really clean, cutting edge, modern look and has folding wings for landing and easier storage. This cutting edge feel is reflected in the cockpit with a basic but sleek look with four nicely placed MFDs. There's a lot of detail around the outside of the craft, but not much of it is interactable in terms of access panels and storage. The Aegis Gladius is also a light fighter, but in contrast is a much broader design, which has been updated over the years to keep up with modern technology. In military circles, the Gladius is beloved for its performance and its simplicity. A fast light fighter with a laser focus on dogfighting, the Gladius is an ideal interceptor or escort ship. In the Star Citizen universe, the ship was designed in 2579, making it a whopping 373 years old. In real life though, it's been flight ready since 2015 and it received its gold standard pass in 2021. Being an old military design, it has a much more rugged aesthetic, which is really reflected when you sit in the cockpit. Just look at those retro style MFDs, body style switches and the rugged bare metal interior. On the outside, there's a crazy amount of detail to the ship. Looking around, you can interact with personal storage, service areas, and access to the ship's components. Now, let's compare the ships in more detail. The Arrow has two size three weapon slots, and a turret with two size one slots, and a capacitor of 4,500. Using a fixed laser repeater loadout, you'll get a burst DPS of around 1,427, and a sustained DPS of 851. As for missiles, you've got two size two, and two size three missile racks. The Gladius has three size three weapons, the capacitor size is also 4,500. Using a similar fixed laser repeater setup, this sustained DPS is slightly less at 812, but the burst DPS is slightly higher at 1500. The missile loadout though for the Gladius is significantly better with four size 3 slots. All in all, the damage output is very similar with the Arrow having more sustained firepower from its guns, but the Gladius having more burst and a better payload of missiles. Both of these ships are neck and neck when it comes to max speed and straight line acceleration. Here's where it gets interesting though, because on paper, the Gladius seems to be the more agile ship with its slightly higher pitch, yaw and roll rate. The key thing here to consider though is the weight. The arrow weighs much less than the Gladius, and you can feel this when you're flying it, as it's a lot more nimble and much quicker when changing speed and direction. The arrow is also a lot smaller than the Gladius, meaning it's much harder to hit. All in all, the arrow wins hands down here as the agility king, as it's incredibly nimble and small. In terms of durability, the Gladius wins here due to it having two size 1 shields and more HP than the Arrow. The Arrow only has one size 1 shield. There's a 200k difference in price, with the Gladius coming in at just under 1.2 million credits and the Arrow coming in at just under 1 million credits. As for the MFD setup, I personally prefer the Arrow as they're larger and easier to see. As for the cockpit, visibility is good in both. The Gladius MFDs take up more vertical room when compared to the Arrow, but the Arrow does have these metal struts going across the canopy so overall, I would say they're about even. All in all, these are both fantastic ships with a lot going for them. Most of the community prefers the Gladius due to its superior durability. However, personally, I prefer the Arrow over the Gladius because I think the fact that it's so nimble more than makes up for its reduced hit points. That's it for this video. I hope it's helped you decide which one of these light fighters is best for you. Please like, comment, or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more guides and gameplay videos.